Lawson used to tell us in class all the time. You know, Steve Lawson. <laughs> yeah. he, he'd say, man, I'd give me an on-fire Arminian over a cold Calvinist every day, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, I, I don't want to say that, you know, just being pumped on the gospel and going out and trying to win souls is ever wrong. Absolutely. But when, when I look at the internal and I go to the seeker-sensitive movement, um, hyper-pragmatism, attractionalism, the big mm -hmm. churches, Willow Creek model, Saddleback, what we were a part yeah. of in a mega church environment. Totally. Um, the motive of it for me, coming up in that college group and starting to step into the pulpit for the first time, I think after 10 years of diagnosing it, or actually 15 years now, um, is you can boil leadership in a church context down to maybe one of, one of two things. Mm -hmm. So one is going to be, obviously, biblical revelation. This church is led off of the authority of, of Scripture, right? Yeah. And then the only other option, if you're not doing that, is some kind of personal manipulation, hmm. right? But those are the two options. Yeah. And whether it's prosperity, word faith, but even seeker sensitive attractionalism, who hears from God best, hmm. it's one or the, the other. Um, and then what I would say is when it comes to personal manipulation is we actually are... We can break it up into two categories. You've got an intentional manipulation, which would be your second Peter group, mm -hmm. and we talk about that all the time. These are false teachers. But you also have an ignorant manipulation group, and that's the, the guys who just they, they desperately want to save people, and so they're caught up in an, an ignorant version of doing church. And you'll, you'll watch those churches like Ephesians 4 talks about, and he says, you know, I want you to grow up and be mature so that you're not, that's the purpose clause there in Ephesians 4, you're not children tossed to and fro by every wind and wave of doctrine. He's talking to Christians there. You know, if you don't have a fully grounded theology, you end up having to lead people through every emotional fad, every single new movement. It turns from an emotional, sentimental gospel to a psychological gospel to a therapy gospel to a miracles and signs of one. You're just chasing whatever movement there is to get people to follow you. Um, and so that, that, that really would be the category that I was in, the category that a lot of my friends were in, mm -hmm. in that mega church world. Um, just, just ignorant manipulation of people trying to fill the room, ultimately with the goal to, in quote, save souls. Totally. Can I ask you an honest question Fire. on camera? All right. Let's uh, go. What were some of the tactics and strategies you used to attract young people and sort of build the buzz, literally like the methods and the, the creativity? Oh, we did everything. Yeah. Can you take anything, us everything people read about in the books, you know, we tried it. I was a part of a church that had the Circus Olay stuff going on. Circus Olay. All, yeah, Circus Shekinah, you know, people yeah. hanging from the ropes. We yeah. did uh, youth pastors in their, you know, Fresh Prince of Bel Air wraps. Uh, we had, you know, things, ropes falling from the ceiling, and I'd hang from it and preach from it, you know. <laughs> so you hung from a, yeah, a rope sure, and preached. Yeah, sure, sure. It was a bunch of immature nonsense. The yeah. church that I was at... You know, we would they would come in and do the the you know, secular songs yep. before to start to start everything and try to try to graft people into the environment. Yep. You know, and, and anybody who's ever watching this can look at their own life and they can assess where they were at. I mean, totally. go back to what are all the movements? You go back to Rob Bell and Emergent Church, yep. and after that, a little bit of Hillsong, a little bit of Bethel. Yep. After that, you got Kanye supposedly getting saved, and then yep. maybe now everyone was woke for a little while. The point is, people are always getting caught up in whatever thing, the next thing, thing is, next thing. unless it's biblical revelation, Man. and everything is built off the authority of God's yep. word.